Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here for a while, what's up fam? So today I think I'm gonna start a new series called Building Better Beats in Beatmaker 3. What? Yo, try to say that three times fast. I want to start this series because a lot of you have run into the issue to where you don't know how to structure your beats or you don't even have a drum library that you feel comfortable enough to even playing inside of Beatmaker 3. Today, I'm gonna go over some ways that you can build your drum banks and your drum loops inside of Beatmaker 3 using Chord Gadget and ways that you can save them so that you can use them over and over again. I'm gonna show you how to build your own drum library so that you can build better beats in Beatmaker 3. Build better. Okay, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay, first things first, we opened up a new session inside of Beatmaker 3. I mentioned Chord Gadget in my uh, What's on My iPad. I told you guys that it was one of my favorite um, audio units to use simply because it's just, it has a lot of sound modules and sound banks inside um, built in. Um, there are additional sound sound modules that you can pay for, um, but for 40 bucks, it actually comes with quite a lot of different sounds that you can use right out the gate. So what we're going to explore today is the, um, there's a beat machine inside of Core Gadget called Recife. And Recife has a bunch of really nice presets that you can use right off the bat. Quick pro tip here. If you double tap the uh, the instrument here inside a core gadget, it brings up that um, it brings up a larger window inside of core gadget, so you can play around with the with the drum pads just like you would in Beatmaker Three. They have a bunch of different. So you got trap kits. You got. You got a bunch of different presets inside of Core Gadget where, to where you don't really need to purchase anybody else's sound kits or, or anything like that if you don't want to. Now, if you have some, cool. If you don't, Core Gadget is the perfect place to start. And now I know you're wondering, how do I get started? How do I get these inside of Beatmaker 3 so that I can start making beats with them? So normally what we would do is use an extension app called um, AudioBus. And what AudioBus is, is a linking app. It lets you input one app into another app. So they, it lets those two apps communicate. So I will put Core Gadget, input Core Gadget into, so it's launching uh, an instance of Core Gadget. It probably won't do it because I already have an instance of Core Gadget up. But basically, I will input Core Gadget into Beatmaker 3. Let's try Reason Compact. So what we just did is created a, um, a connection between Reason Compact and Beatmaker 3 using Audio Bus. So whatever I play in Reason Compact, if you can see over here, this extension over here in the far right hand corner will, will pop up. And you can now manipulate Beatmaker 3 from over here. You can record straight into Chord um, or straight into Beatmaker 3 using using Audio Bus. But that's not what we're doing today. We're gonna record straight into Beatmaker 3 using Beatmaker 3's native sampler. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So you have Chord Gadget. We're gonna go into our plugin window, open up Chord Gadget. And we're going to go back to Recife. Once we found a preset of drums that we like, we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to Beatmaker 3. Go to our sampler. Now that we have that, select it. Go back to our sampler. And then we can re hit record. So what comes up when we hit record is... Uh, it says no input. What we're going to do is map this to an uh, internal input. And we're going to choose Core Gadget. And now it's recording from Core Gadget. So we're going to hit start recording. And now it's waiting for us to record. So what we can do now is go back to Core Gadget. And the key to, to sampling with this is 
tapping tapping each drum pad and waiting for that pad to be done playing so that when we replay them they're not overlapping i'll show you what i'm talking about here so we're gonna hit so we're gonna hit the first pad you can see our levels there we know it's done we know that one's done we know that one's done so on and so forth So what should have happened is our Beatmaker 3 should have recorded. And now that we know that it is recording, it's been recording for 30 seconds. So we're going to hit stop. Stop the recording. And once we exit out of this, we see what we've recorded here. So once we press that, we can see our different waves. So now what we want to do, now that we recorded our recorded some samples into Beatmaker and th into Beatmaker 3, we want these individual drum pads to go on their individual pads inside of Beatmaker 3. So we're going to go ahead and go to slice mode and then we're going to auto slice. And we can hit detect and turn it, keep the sensitivity at 100. And the thing I love about Beatmaker 3 is that when we hit detect, you can see here that the transient markers detected very well where those audio samples came in. So it sliced them exactly where we hit them. So we're going to hit save. Slice the pads. And we're going to start on pad 1. And apply. So now we have eight samples of samples that we just sampled out of a core gadget. Just as simple as that. Now we can start recording our drum kits into um, an actual beat. And you can see these samples work. These samples work just like any other drum kit that you may download from the internet or um, wherever you get your sample, your drum samples from. So now if we hit record, now we have MIDI notes recorded with our samples. can set that loop and keep building from there so let's keep building And within our sampler, you can still go in and tweak each individual sample as if you, you dragged and dropped them just like any other sample. We can turn it up. We can saturate that kick. We can give that kick a little bit more body. And, and get this, we can even add audio effects to our new kit. So let's add a audio effect that I love from our guys at MSX Audio. Uh, this audio effects is uh, this audio effect is called Lo-Fi Dirt. Lo-Fi Dirt is really dope for your drum. So we're gonna hit play, and already we got some banger drums. So now, say you want to save this preset. What we'll do to save this preset is go back to our pads window. So right now the bank is named Core Gadget by default because that's the original app that we loaded into it. So since we don't want to have to resample kits every time we want to bring up these drums again, we got these drums just right exactly how we want them. 
they're knocking just right we'll go into we'll go here and we'll hit save bank and then you can name them whatever i'll name it gadget trap and then you can either choose to copy your samples you can uh, save your patterns and so just to test it out let's load this onto another empty bank and we're going to go to banks and what we named it was gadget trap load the bank boom so it saved that whole preset and audio effects included now you got a whole kit fam and it and it doesn't stop there you can keep adding to these pads using those other presets inside of core gadget if you wanted to all you have to do is go back to core gadget as you're recording go in and just tap the pads as you're recording from that that sampler so this is how you build better beats in beatmaker 3 using core gadget and building your drum banks and tweaking them to exactly how you would like them no need to buy a bunch of elaborate kits from this producer that producer you already have everything you need right here on the ipad all right fam so now that you got your kits there's no excuses as to why you don't have some knocking drums some banging drums take the time out to actually go ahead and dive in and make those kits your own throw audio effects on it and don't be afraid to play with textures don't be afraid to experiment with any of that stuff there's no right or wrong way to create the way that you want to create so remember if i can create like this you can create like this thanks for tuning into the channel thanks for rocking with me if you haven't already go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button i'll be here every week giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your workflow whether that be through tech or even some beatmaker 3 tutorials let me know what you guys want to see next inside of beatmaker 3 give me some ideas on any specific tutorials that you guys want to see next inside of beatmaker 3 drop your drop your suggestions down in the comments once again this has been brandon rico i hope i inspired somebody let's create something new today don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if this is helpful i'm signing out with another beatmaker 3 tutorial peace